Peeps, and welcome back to our channel, Team of Four. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. To become a teammate, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and then right next to it, ring the notification bell. And you'll be notified every single time we upload a new video. Don't forget to follow us over on our Instagram at Team of Four channel, where we try to post a picture every single day. Mm. You're all smiles and giggles today. <laughs> so as well, y'all can see, weather, that's, why, right? that's true. It's this cozy, snuggly weather. I love it so much. Mm. You like it, babe? Yeah, it's better than the 90 degree heat. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I don't, um, mind the, I don't mind the rain because it barely rains in California, but um, she like really, really loves the rain. Yeah, we love the rain. Huh? Yeah, you and Connor. Are Mr. More, Connor and I. more so than me, yeah. Yeah. I, Ethan likes listening to the rain, but yeah. he doesn't want to be in the rain. Yeah. Me and Connor like listening and we want to be in it. Yeah, so. I'm like drenched. <laughs> Okay, so as y'all can see down in the title, we are doing our Q&A that we promised and we didn't do and we forgot and then we're getting to it now. Mm, well, we've been vlogging a lot, so. Oh yeah, we have been doing a lot of vlogs mm. and then I'm starting my, um, what is it, my weight loss journey. Yeah. So I've been all into that as well. So, but we finally got around to our sit down Q&A. We haven't done a sit down video in a while. Oh, I know. Yeah, we've been so used to vlogging now. The last sit down video we did was like the uh, the El Pueblo Loco thing, right? Oh or yeah, I like think that. so. Yeah. yeah. And before that, was and like, like the, we incorporate our halls and then like our yeah. Trader Joe's hall and stuff. Yeah, there's that. Okay, so you guys um, left us some questions under one of our videos, so we're gonna answer those questions first. So this will be a part one, and then we'll get to the rest of the questions in a part two. Sorry, I hit your phone. Yeah. Okay, Sorry, go ahead, babe. It's just an Android, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Where you are living and do you plan to stay? They want to know where we're living and if we plan to stay in California. So does that mean like are we living in California right now? I guess I guess like um like where Oh, okay. Like what city we're living, I guess. Okay, or so like right now, yeah, right like, now we live in California, in Venice, California. Mm -hmm. And our plan and our hope is to stay in California. Oops. But we're not sure because we know California is super expensive. Yeah. So we're trying to just like line all our ducks up, get all our ducks in a row. That's how you say it. And make sure <laughs> and make sure that we can afford it because we don't want to be living in California but struggling. Mm -hmm. But we do want to stay here because most of our older families here, like our parents, our grandparents and everything. And we'd rather just be closer to them so they can be with their grandchildren. Yeah. So our hope and our dream is to stay in California. But yeah. yes, we are currently living in Venice, California. Yeah. Not much to add to that. That's pretty much knocked that out. I'm drinking, <laughs> I found this at the gas station yesterday. So I don't know if you guys have drank this before. Mm. It's a uh, body armor. It's supposed to be good for you. Oh, this one's yeah. lower this calories. One. Yeah, this one's lower calories. It only has 35. The other oh, one, okay. The other one I drank, this strawberry banana was like. Oh, uh, no sugar added, low peach that's mango. Why. So that, I think the other one uh, it had sugar. This one's sugarless. This is peach mango. Mm -hmm. I thought would be good. And the strawberry banana was good, but it has, um, I don't know, natural blah, blah, blah. It says coconut water, electrolytes, potassium, antioxidants, A, C, and E, and then B vitamins. Okay. So, Is it good? Have you tasted it yet? I haven't tasted this one oh, yet. Oh, okay. I just wanted to show them. Uh, okay. She asked, what am I studying? So uh, I went back to college a third time. I had so much fun doing it the first two times, but I'm studying like to, uh, like it's technically like English literature. I have like uh, two AA degrees. Like they gave me one for like arts and humanities because I took like a bunch of like philosophy classes mm -hmm. and like psychology class and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And then I got uh, an AA degree from Santa Monica for English literature. And I wanted to do like journalism because I want to do, um, I really like writing. I want to do like my podcast and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dominguez Hills didn't offer it and Northridge did, but I thought Dominguez Hills was a way better school. So. I'm studying English literature mm. again, but uh, it's still fun. But I, I really wanted, I, I would have preferred to do journalism, but mm. it's okay. So I'm doing English literature to get my my four year bachelor's degree finally. Mm. After uh, and he's super close. He has huh? like a month, right? Like four weeks yeah, now. Like, yeah, like four weeks. Yeah, he yeah. has like four weeks. I'm so proud of him. He's so close. Yeah. 
but it, yeah it's like if you guys go to college it's like good to go to junior college because it's like way way cheaper but it's like such a pain in the butt like when you transfer because oh. like i literally had to take like almost an extra year of college because like a lot of the classes i took at uh santa monica college and uh i went to like an online school at adam state university and then i went to um coastline community college and like then i had to like get it all to line up with dominguez mm. hells and like a lot of the classes i took like they didn't even accept so like i'm getting like a like a a four-year degree from dominguez hills but it's like i literally did like almost i basically did like five years so, okay. so i'm gonna have like uh like 150 units or something stupid mm -hmm. so this is like because it's like so it's like transferring is such a pain in the butt so like if you can get financial aid they get financial aid to like a lot of people i didn't qualify because i was working and like other stuff but uh yeah like don't transfer because this is like such a pain in the butt so like if yeah. you guys are if you guys have kids and you want them to go to college like just send them to one college yeah <laughs> try get, to if you yeah. can get financial aid like i couldn't get financial aid so for me it, it made sense to go to a junior college because mm -hmm. it was literally like a, a quarter of the price of dominguez hills and dominguez hills isn't even that expensive but it's like a really good school yeah so. And just a side note, Mr. Connor is with his grandparents oh, right yeah. now and his aunt and uncle. And then Grayson's right here. He's sleeping. Of course, we do not drive with the car seat this way. Oh, yeah. We just had to adjust for filming purposes. We're not driving. Yeah. So he's turned to the side for now. Yeah, I'm I'm, we'll turn him back the regular way when we drive. We yeah, don't keep him like that. Yeah, we're gonna if anybody's thinking it's it. It's just because like, I'm like 6'4". So yeah, like leaning, we like, have to have the seats leaning, adjusted a certain way. I'm like leaning all the way in the back seat like a cholo. I'm just kidding. But, uh, I lean like a cholo, <laughs> side to side. <laughs> Elbows up and side to side. <laughs> all the homies, they know what I mean. Baby, let me show you how I lean. Okay, back to the Q&A. Back to, back, uh, we're done with the montage. <laughs> the, the, two, the early 2000s montage. <laughs> all right, uh, what else does your family have planned or hope to do this fall? So I'm going to go first. I, I think some of it could be like individual kidding. and like some of it could be like family based right okay so what we have planned when we're filming this it's november mm -hmm. early no november 5th i don't know we're gonna post that's why i'm telling you that so right now it's november 5th or 6th but today's the 6th yeah oh today's it's november 6th, 6th and uh our plans are for Thanksgiving. We are going to Las Vegas mm -hmm. to spend Thanksgiving there with my sisters. My parents are coming with us. Um, last Thanksgiving, I spent it here with Ethan's family. Mm -hmm. So this Thanksgiving, he's going to come over to our side. Um, what to the else city do we have planned? My birthday is at... My birthday is actually on Thanksgiving this year, so oh, yeah. that's exciting and not. It's like you can't go to a restaurant. I'm just kidding, because I mean uh, Thanksgiving food, but I love Thanksgiving, so that's fine. So I don't know what I'm doing for that, but I have a birthday to think about that will probably vlog whatever I do. Thanksgiving will be in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um that's all i can think of right now i'm sure ethan and connor will probably do some kind of arts and crafts again for thanksgiving like they did for halloween i worked super hard on that pumpkin yeah <laughs> the paintbrush was so tiny i was like <laughs> it was like yeah if you guys missed our live go check it out we saved it yeah. mr connor and ethan painted pumpkins and we tasted halloween cereals my mom got us um we also have a trunk or treat vlog that we did so mm -hmm. check that out that was cool how they let did. us know what you it. think of that yeah a lot of people said nice. they never heard of trunk or treat yeah. and i didn't either until i think it was like two years ago i heard about it in vegas some parents did it at the school and i thought it was super cool yeah so yeah. it's like a safe fun way to trick or treat yeah. but i uh, think that do you have anything planned for fall well i'm a, uh like personally like i'm gonna graduate in december mm -hmm. uh and then i'm gonna um start some training like a buddy of mine has a uh, he's in like a like a technology like industry mm -hmm. he's gonna help me get a job mm -hmm. um so i'm gonna do like three months of training or so for that yeah and then hopefully that'll help me get like a really good job um that has nothing to do with my major that's what always happens that's what my dad said he said just get the college degree and then you'll get a job yeah you know? but so we're, i'm gonna do that and then um we're gonna get married yeah. Finally. But we can't talk about that yet, babe. That's the second half of the Q and A. Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. They know. said what's our plans for fall? We're not getting married in fall. Well, so we didn't have how, to say how long that. Does fall go? I have no idea. But then winter starts. Uh oh. So technically I think we'll be getting married in winter. Well, I guess that's all then. I guess we'll I don't know. I guess that's it. Ethan's uh, trying to spill tea. We're going to try to come oh, no. back for part two. When does winter officially start? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's see. 
That was all the questions? Uh, congrats on your weight loss. That's from uh, T. Holland. Thank uh, you, T. Holland. What else are you doing? What other changes did you make? Like, so that's, I like, guess. Oh, you. so there's more questions? Oh, I thought Is you that, said that was it. No, I'm saying that's it for what I'm going to say for, uh, for that question. Oh, you're going to save your part two? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't communicate well with Ethan. He's going to save his part two of the answer. Is that okay, babe? Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how long fall lasts. I don't know when uh, when winter officially starts. Like me either. Like but January, okay. February, or something. I don't know. I know there's uh -huh. each season's be about three months. So okay. I guess uh, winter starts in January. Something in my eye. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So yeah. So I don't know. What was the question again? I'm sorry. What else are you doing? What other changes did you make as far as your weight loss? Oh, so I'm trying to do intermittent fasting which is what i do the most like i try to wait as long as i can because they said when you're sleeping your body is already in a fasting state so it's easier for me to just continue that fasting state when i wake up in the mornings so i really try not to like eat my first meal to like 12 or 1 but of course some days when i'm hungry like i'll have breakfast with ethan and we'll eat at like 9 10 whatever so it depends on the day but i'm trying to do intermittent fasting I'm, of course, drinking more water and I'm trying to get back on my water because I've been slacking. I really have. So I've been trying to get back on my water, my water intake, and just making sure I know for sure I hit 10,000 steps almost every day. Yeah, she's been walking a lot. That's yeah, that's my goal to just yeah. get out and walk as much as I can. Either walk. If I don't walk Connor to school, I'll walk and pick him up. If I don't do that, I'll walk when Ethan goes to work. But I, I even just walk in the bedroom sometimes, just in one spot, just walk. Mm -hmm. So that's been helping me a lot in my weight loss journey. I've hit like a, was it a plateau? Is it called? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I think they say like, um, she lost like 30 pounds, like pretty fast in like the first four to six weeks. And then a lot, like a lot of people say like you hit like a plateau after yeah. that. Yeah. And then she's like, um, she's lost like a few pounds. Yeah. And then like, she, um, she might go like half a pound up and then like a pound down. So it's like uh yeah it keeps like going like, like she's had like a cons consistent weight within like a, a pound or two yeah for the last couple of weeks i guess yeah so it says yeah. that when you do hit a plateau that you should probably try and change things up mm -hmm. a bit so like, i'm just trying like little different things but i'll make a separate video talking about my weight loss journey because it's like a lot of stuff so i'll make a separate video talking about that and we also have a collab coming mm -hmm. up so that's gonna be super super fun one of our friends here on youtube so y'all see what i'm doing in that video and in mm -hmm. that video i'll talk about it a little more as well but thank you so much for noticing and I appreciate that comment and question. Oh. <laughs> the scrollings. Somebody loves your hair. Thank you. Shout out to mommy and my sister Lee from Evan and Lee. She does my hair as well. Make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel. Oh, uh, the call sign. How can you want to answer their questions? Yeah, we'll do half of theirs. Okay. Some of it might be repeat, but we can check. Uh, Kelly, did you move to California permanently or was it just for your maternity leave? So you kind of answered that. Yeah, we kind of answered that already. Yeah. Hopefully. But the push was for my maternity leave. I wanted to make sure that I was in California when I gave birth. I really mm -hmm. wanted to be in California. So that was the push that got us to move here sooner than we thought. Well, that's what kind of changed everything around. Because yeah. before, I wasn't going to move here. But that's what kind of changed everything. Yeah, I was going to go to the... Oh, man. What did I do? Oopsies. Okay. Uh, Kelly, do you still have your place in Las Vegas, Nevada? And if so, when will you guys be returning? Okay. No, I don't have it any longer. But I had it for a while. Uh, my sister was staying there for me. But we did give it up in June. Was that June? July? Oh, yeah, July. that was July. Yeah, July. yeah like um, in July, we did give up that place because I knew I didn't want to return there any longer. So there was no point of keeping it mm -hmm. and like paying all this stuff for no reason. So that apartment is officially gone. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you don't know what apartment I'm talking about, I did have two <laughs> apartment tours that you can check out. She's savage. She moved out eight months pregnant. 
I know. Of course, I didn't do anything. Ethan helped a lot. And my sisters and their and their guys, um, their husband, well, their husbands. Their husbands. <laughs> well, one of them already had a husband. But anyway, my sisters and their husbands and my mom, like, they all helped. I didn't have to lift anything and everything. But it was a challenge, like, having the trip and everything when I was pregnant. When I was that big. Uh, in a previous video, Ethan said he was going to move to Nevada. Is that still in the works? He uh, kind of answered that yeah. already. Yeah. Um, hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> I like visiting Nevada, but it's like super hot and it's like, I don't want to like live there. Like a lot of people go there cause it's like so much cheaper in mm -hmm. California, you know, it's a, get a house for $200,000. I mean, here houses are selling for 3 million. So, yeah. but I just, I wouldn't, I don't think we'd be happy there. You know, yeah living like a huge like house. i said our plan and we yeah. would love to just stay in california that's our plan mm -hmm. but we don't know what the future holds it's all in god's hand we're hands we're just gonna like pray and then you know hope for the best so as of now we plan to stay in california yeah kelly was this your first c-section yes i think i pushed connor out so Connor was a push baby and yes, Grace was my first C-section and I was super scared and nervous and cried because it wasn't my plan and uh, everything. But yes, it was my first one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was scary too because it was just like, for me, it was just like spur of the moment. Like I guess yeah. I'm the type of person where like I like to know stuff ahead of time. Yeah. And like we, we kind of went in. I think for like most of their pregnancy, he, he was breached, they call it, right? And he wasn't turned the right way. So we were nervous yeah. about the C-section. Like, I don't think either of us wanted it. I didn't want the C-section because was like, I was like terrified of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't want Kelly to have to go through that recovery, which she actually did like phenomenal. So that's yeah. like awesome. Yeah, the first week of my recovery was yeah, super rough. But, but that'd be, I mean... Yeah. We'll do we'll do another video talking about our birth story and like how that was. That's a lot too. Okay, so yeah. we promise you we'll have a video talking about the birth story, and then I'll have another video talking about my I did it again talking about my weight loss journey. <laughs> and that way, you know, if you are interested in the in the birth one, you can watch that. And if you're interested, in, like you know, you don't have to sit through this one trying to find all the I'll, birth questions or something. Kelly's like a hand talker. <laughs> you are too. <laughs> <laughs> uh kelly what was your goals for your healthy lifestyle change what, okay we'll answer that in wait? the next one yeah oh, no, wait okay and then um how was it seeing your son for the first time ethan uh hmm. i mean it was kind of like surreal to be honest i just mm. i feel like it was like um like one of those things in life where like something happens and it's like uh i felt like i was like outside of my body like it wasn't like it didn't seem like it was real like because mm -hmm. he waited like the whole pregnancy for it to happen and like you know like her water broke and we went to the hospital you know we got there and then like when it actually happened it's kind of like oh is this is this real so it's kind of like i don't know it's crazy it's like i don't know it's like i like i saw him and then like obviously i was like overjoyed but it's just like it didn't seem like it's like i don't know it's like one of those things where it's like it doesn't seem like it's real like mm -hmm. something life happens and like it's like so much to process like you like your mind and your like your mind can't like process it all at once or something you know mm -hmm. but yeah it's been like it's been like really fun like he's a really good kid he's you know he's he has a a good personality mm -hmm. but yeah it's, i think i just feel like it was like i don't know for me at least I just felt like it was like surreal, I guess. It's yeah. like the best word I could use to describe it. Cause like, I remember, um, cause I was like nervous, you know, when she went to have the C-section and I was trying to like text, you know, her parents and stuff. And like, um, and then like he came out and then he was like, oh, and it went from like that to like, you know, now he's born. And I, mm -hmm. I just felt like it was so much faster too. Like doing that, doing it that way. How, do you, how was it for you? Like since you had Connor already is like, was it like a- I'll answer mine in our birth story. Hmm? Cause that, like, they really just asked you. Okay. So it's okay, I'll talk about mine. Cause I might cry. And I don't want to do that at the end of the kidding. Is that it for now? Uh, well, there's one more question I guess from this person. I'm gonna do this one question, right? Mm. Okay, like go ahead. We can do that question. one. Uh, 
Lavelle asked. Lavella asked. Hi, Lavella. Shout out to Lavella. She's huh? so sweet. Yeah. Hi. She asked, "What type of work do y'all do, and will y'all be buying a house soon?" The house soon is probably not hands. I'm not am happening. Okay, I'm about to say not answering. <laughs> it's not happening. But you never know. I don't put that out there. Maybe you know God will rain it down on us. But as far as now, we're just planning on just moving to our own apartment. But um, what was the first half of the question? What do we do for work? Oh, so I'm an assistant store manager. That's what I do right now at a retail store. And you, babe? Huh? <laughs> uh, I do like custodial work <laughs> for like uh, different schools. Yeah. And like a church. And a church, yeah. yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. And he's a full-time student. Huh? I so, just, yeah, okay. I'm, just, I'm just doing part-time work and then... uh. Once I'm done with school in a month, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to get into this like technology, like uh, like coding like apps and like graphic mm -hmm. design and stuff. Okay. So gonna, that's the plan, as well as the podcast. Okay, teammates, we hope you all enjoy this very long Q and A, <laughs> and we do have two more parts coming, as we promised. If you have more questions that we did not get to, please comment them down below. You can also DM us over on our Instagram at Team of Four Channel. But we love you all so 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 much. We appreciate you all so 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 much. Don't forget to stay blessed and stay safe. And if nothing else. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, wait for part two. Peace, teammates. Bye. <laughs> Bye.